You see on the news, whenever storms roll by, they'll say, get ready because the power might go out. <laughs> Boom. Your lights went out. <laughs> That's when you call us. Hi. Welcome to TTV. It is Monday, October 14, 2019. Mm -hmm. You know, Columbus Day. <laughs> and I'm Tim. And I'm Billy. And in today's news... According to stgeorgeutah.com, mm -hmm. Dylan Entz is going to make a world of difference for students in, in Potambin, Milwaukee, Mexico. He, he purchased a bus number 65 and is using it to house school supplies and also transport them to Mexico. There you go. It's a three-day trip from Utah to Mexico, but city officials and St. George High School principal are meeting everyone at the border. So, I mean... You're bringing kids over the... What is that, for a field trip? Well, there's kids from... They're bringing them back to Mexico and they're bringing... Were they visiting or something or what? Uh, that was like an exchange program or... I mean, and they're bringing school supplies back to them. Yeah, but the kids that they're bringing to Mexico, were those exchange kids or something? Or why were they in Utah and why did they have to go to Mexico? Because that's where they're from, in Mexico. Yeah, so how'd they get to Utah? They're exchange kids, like... You don't know? I don't know. <laughs> All I had to say in the beginning, I knew he didn't, so I was just like trying to press him to say, like, I didn't research it, and I'll go, it's good reporting. Bountiful <laughs> <laughs> Elementary has donated 35 backpacks to the village. Yes. Uh, according, to C according to addition at CNN.com, Gucci the Pomeranian saved her owner's life from a house fire wow. on October 7th. George Ratonsky had been asleep in his home in Sydney's Eagle Vale suburb when the fire broke out. Dog barked him awake. He woke to the sound of Gucci's barking and the smell of smoke. The man and his dog made it out safely as the house continued to burn. Wow. Well, as long as you have your life. Yeah. <laughs> and he lost everything in the fire, but... Not his dog. Not his dog. <laughs> The fire may have been started by a cigarette or candle left, left burning in the back room. Rutonsky didn't have a working smoke detector either. Huh? That's what you get. Yeah. Make sure you check the smoke detectors for, for batteries, especially with the... Twice a year. Yeah, twice a year. Especially with the, the daylight saving coming up. <laughs> yeah. And in local news, according to localsyr.com slash news, yeah, more than 3,500 people made strides to end breast cancer on October 13th at SRC Arena. Organizers said, it's inspiring to see a community of survivors in a room lifting each other up. Yeah. And on this week in history, mm -hmm. On October 15, 1951, I Love Lucy airs for the first time. And in 1783, world's first manned balloon flight. Wow. <laughs> I know, I was shocked. I was like, what? What year was it? 1783. Wow, okay. I would have guessed it would have been... I would have guessed later, actually, honestly. But see, 1783, wow. They had their stuff. They knew what they were doing back then. 
I would have guessed like 1900. <laughs> I was like, no, I knew 18. Cause I remember around the world in 80 days took place in the 1800s, and they're in a hot air balloon. So I know in the 1800s they had to have had. On October 16, 1945, Food and Agriculture Organization is established. Cool. And in 1923, Walt Disney is founded. On October 18, 1851. Moby Dick is published for the first time. You know who wrote that? <laughs> you don't know? No. Charles Dickens. And famous birthday. <laughs> Bailey Madison on October 15th. Bryce Harper and John Mayer on October 16th. Alan Jackson on October 17th. Jonas Cespedes, Brittany Griner, and Zach Efron on October 18th. Evander Holyfield, Jose Batista, and Colton Dixon on October 19th. Tom Petty, 1950 to 2017, on October 20th. And Judge Judith Scheinblin on October 21st. Trust me? I've seen some of Judge Judy shows. She's tough, so. Yeah, she turns like Rich Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, right? Gee. And an air show news. United States Air Force Thunderbird. Name, Lauren Venturini. She's in her second season with the team. Mm -hmm. Call sign, I made it up. Exact. That's she's good. She's the executive officer. That's good. That's good. That's good. You made that call sign up? Yeah. That's a good one. Plane number 10 from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I hate Grand Rapids. School, Baylor University, ROTC. That's where Grand Rapids is from, obviously, the hockey team from Michigan. Yeah. Scumbags. <laughs> The United States Air Force Thunderbirds next air show, October 19th and 20th, Houston, Texas, Wings Over Houston air show. Mm -hmm. United States Navy Blue Angels. According to blueangel.navy.mil slash history, mm -hmm. the Blue Angels flew with their 3,000th air show in Grand Forks, North Dakota on September 7th, 1990. Uh, Cool. United States Navy Blue Angels next air show, October 19th and 20th, Fort Worth, Texas, Bell, Fort Worth, Alliance air show. And now here's Billy, uh, yeah, you know, Jackson, he's, <laughs> he fell off a cliff, so. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. And now here's Billy with the weather. Right? Uh, hold on your butt, Syracuse, because we're in for a whole bunch of weather this week. <laughs> so we're looking at Tuesday the 15th, and uh, it's going to be the gem of the week. We're looking at mostly, uh, mostly sunny skies, a high of around uh, 60 degrees, which is a little chillier, but low of 47 at night. It's a nice day, though. It's, it's the day that you're going to want to stick your foot out the window anyway to work when you drive, you know? Air it out. <laughs> uh, that's Tuesday. Bam. Wednesday, here's the crap. Wednesday is going to be rain all day. And it's gonna be a high of 62, uh, so don't don't uh, water your plants on Tuesday because they got you on Wednesday. Thursday is cloud and light rain, but uh, holy hellsicle, <laughs> it's only gonna be a high of 50 degrees. Really? Yep. The low at night will be 44, so it's weird that the, the high of the day and the low of the day is only six degrees different. Yeah. So <laughs> Thursday, you want to wear two pairs of pants maybe or something. Friday, everyone's favorite. Clouds and 53 degrees, low of 38. 38. We're gonna hit the 30s this week. Oh, We're heading towards kidding? winter, folks. Oh. And it's not gonna be pretty. No. Well, it will be after it snows and it's all on the trees and stuff. And <laughs> well, that'll be nice. pretty, but. <laughs> so, uh, this weekend, if you're playing ahead, it's gonna be partly cloudy. Well, mostly cloudy on Saturday, but Sunday is the uh, nice day of the weekend where. You know, Sunday's going to be 68 degrees as opposed to Saturday, which is going to be 60. 
And uh, the thing is, though, that's six days away Sunday, so I'll, I'll bet you a million dollars it's not going to be mostly sunny and 68, which is a thousand dollars, everyone. That will not be like that on Sunday. And he said that we go all the way up to Monday. I'll make it up myself because they know as well as I do. Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be two tornadoes next Monday, and a foot of snow is going to fall. And it's going to be 90 degrees. That's the weather. That's the weather. And stay dry, TT Veers. And an event soon. Tuesday, October 15th, Open Writers Group, Baltonsville Public Library, 6.30 p.m. Cool. Wednesday, October 16th, I don't know, I'm still writing the beginners, but Chess Club at the Cortland Free Library, mm -hmm. 5 o'clock p.m. Cool. Thursday, October 17th, Open Mic Club. At eight, open mic at Club 11 at 8 o'clock p.m. Where's Club 11? <laughs> yeah, even I don't know. Did you Google it? You said type in Club 11. Well, here, no, we're right here. Just when you're writing this, because I mean, how people are going to know, you know what I mean? You have to say where it is, because you said it for the other ones. Club 11. It's on Brewerton Road in Maddydale. In, in Maddydale. And. Where you. <laughs> Friday, October 18th, Outlaw Duo, Phoenix American Legion, 7 o'clock p.m. See, there you do it, Phoenix American Legion, he's got it. Saturday, October 19th, Robotic Club, White Branch Library, at 2 o'clock p.m. The White Branch Library is in Syracuse, I know that one, so. Sunday, October 20th, hashtag Legacy, Everson Museum of Art, at 12 o'clock p.m. We should film there soon. To 5 o'clock p.m. <laughs> yeah, we should. Isn't Jackson not going to film the 100th? He he's not going to be here for the 100th or something? I, I don't know. Why do I feel like you said, like, you mentioned, someone mentioned that, like, he wasn't going to, you thought he wasn't going to be here for the 100th or something? Anyway, you guys should film the 100th episode of TTV at the Everson Art Museum. Yeah. Just saying, outside right near that big statue. Monday, October 21st. Yes. Zoo Boo. Rosamund Gifford Zoo okay. at 10 a.m. What's Zoo Boo? It's, a, it's an event that, that the zoo puts on every year for little kids, and they have trick-or-treating and stuff. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Friday, October 18th through Sunday, October 20th. Oh, gee, wait a minute. Boo! Can I scare you? Bright night at one LePage Flights. Well, it's not at the fair anymore, unfortunately. No. Down the road from there. Old Liverpool Road, is it? Yeah, it's no, one, it's in Syracuse. One it's in Syracuse. Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friday, October 18th, and Saturday, October 19th, 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. Yep. Sunday, October 20th, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. $25 for five houses. It's not worth it, I bet. $10 for one house. Come on down and have a bunch of 18-year-olds with a mask <laughs> on screaming your face. It's, yeah, it's... Last year, I went to, like, 20 haunted houses. So I, I like I like them. It's just right now it always seems like a cheap one where it's just oh yeah. It's just again it's like seventeen year olds going ah in your face and you're like that's not scary. It's no. like just loud. You're just being loud. Darn sorry. You're just being annoying. Well, when there's a guy with a chainsaw and he chases you out, that's a little scary. Oh yeah. The chainsaw guy, it's a little scary because even though you're like he's not gonna kill you, it's like it's still scary. Someone running at you with a chainsaw. Oh and you're yeah. Like, oh god, dude. And now it's time for Tim's joke of the day. <laughs> What dog keeps the best time? What a wash dog. Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. I got that one. And finally, <laughs> folks. Finally. And you can email us at Tim's TV1 at Yahoo.com. Like us on Facebook, Tim's Television TTV. Follow us on Twitter at Tim's TV1. Like Tim Bennett Productions on Facebook. And, and make sure you catch uh, Ice Gate a return to Brown and Mike Mead's production of Pokemon World Entry 3 Magic Car. Is it Tim's Television TTV on Facebook? Yeah. Oh, do I like this? Oh, I liked it, okay. I was going to see how many likes he had. Just want to look. <laughs> and so until next time, I'm Tim. And I'm Jackson. Just kidding. Not really. <laughs> Have a super a fantastic short. week. How does he usually sign out? I can be, I can say anything I want, right? Yeah, get the hell out of my house. <laughs> <laughs>
What's a good point? <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs>